Hi, another video update from the FBU National Conference here in Blackpool. Today, conference has been discussing the vital issue of duty systems for whole-time firefighters and specifically what's become known as day crewing plus or close proximity crewing. We're joined by Neil Carbuck, the Brigade Secretary for the Union in South Yorkshire. Now, Neil, you're the one that raised this. Can you tell us the background to the issue? Yeah, certainly. The, the close proximity crewing that South Yorkshire Fire and Rescue introduces is, is predicated on the use of volunteers without a collective agreement who are volunteering to work 96 hours on duty. 96 hours on the fire station? Yes, that's a, a doubling of the working week. OK, well, clearly this is not going to be acceptable to the Fire Brigade Union. How did you progress it? Was it through a dispute? Yeah, we, we, we disputed it. We took it to uh, NJC, to uh, Joint Secretaries, and, and even up to a uh, Technical Advisory Panel, um, and then subsequently to an employment tribunal based on the displacees that were transferred from station. OK, this is one of the few times this issue has actually ended up in court. Can you tell us actually what the ET decided? Yeah, the, the ET decided that the duty system was unlawful um, and that uh, it breached the working time regulations uh, 6, 10, 4. And I, I, I can't remember, the, you have to, you have to yeah. forgive me, but, uh, but basically that the, it breached the working time regulations and that there were certain aspects that the HSC should actually have a look at. We're also joined by the Union's Assistant General Secretary Andy Dark. Now Andy, this is clearly a significant victory for the Union on a legal basis. Is it going to impact on other fire and rescue services across the UK? I think it's got to. Um, certainly in terms of what, uh, what, was it, what was achieved in South Yorkshire was a tremendous victory. Um, in terms of establishing that without a collective agreement, uh, such duty systems are unlawful. Um, we've started representations with the HSE with regards to some decisions that they've made. Uh, they've been clear they don't want to enforce yet. And I think that's the, that's the clearly the important word yet. Um, but CPC isn't just about hours of work. CPC, day crewing plus, is actually about safety. It's also about resilience because these schemes are being introduced to reduce the number of firefighters available. Um, and it has effects upon national resilience um, and also, of course, local resilience for normal calls. It's also got huge impacts, we feel, at a time when the Fire Rescue Service is looking to expand its role into co-responding, uh, you know, the MTFA work, for example, and a whole range of other issues, which, of course, are being discussed as well. Um, so, yeah, huge implications. Um, and I suppose just one final one I think is important to raise. 96 hours uh, on the trot, huge number of hours um, over the years I think members have you know clearly conscious of and following uh, the some of the dreadful tra tragedies that have occurred to our members uh, and this has an impact this clearly will have an impact in time if such a duty system was introduced on our members safety uh, and of course the safety of members of the public. So yes, you're right, Sam, absolutely huge implications. And the issue that happened in South Yorkshire, who took it all the way through the dispute um, system, ended up at a tribunal and won it. I mean, is this a message for employers up and down the, the country? Is it a case of, if this comes on in other fire and rescue services, the union will act in the same way? Very much so. Uh, and uh, I don't think it's a surprise to say that we have um, knowledge at the moment and information at the moment that some uh, firefighters who are doing day, crew, day crewing plus um, or CPC haven't experienced it, don't like it and want to come off. Um, and if the employers don't let them, well, we'll be back in the ET, we'll see them there. So yeah, huge for all fire and rescue services. The message is clear. Andy, thanks. Neil, thanks. For further updates, please follow us. You can follow us on Twitter. That's at FBU National. And we've got a special hashtag for the conference, and that's hashtag FBUConf16. Of course, there's also the union's website, www.fbu.org.uk. Until the next time, thanks, Neil, and thanks, Andy. Thank you.